I wanted to ask you kind of a two part question. Like, 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 have you gotten out of MMA what you've wanted as far as like if if you never fought again, are you satisfied with what you've done? I mean, obviously you've, you've been a multiple world a world champion. Um, and then also, what is it that you're looking for next? Obviously, you you haven't retired or anything. So, uh, what is it and who is it that you're looking to fight or uh, go next? Yeah, for me, man, like um, I think once I'm like not having fun doing this or it's not like when I wake up and I feel like, man, I don't want to go to the gym, that's when I'm going to be done. Like, I, I'm not going to force myself past that point. I've had some tough fights. You know, I've, I always fight the best option. You know, like the, 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 you don't think UFC works. You know, they give you this guy, this guy, this guy. I've always fought the best option. Even when I went to 170, I fought Wonder Boy. I think he was like number three in the world. So like, I, I take the risk on the guys I'm fighting, but them are the fights that make me feel alive. Them are the fights that make me go to the gym and study and think about how to beat this guy. It's more than just, you know, a physical thing. It's like a mental training thing. So like, um, once I started getting to the mental aspect of fighting, like it, it, it just changed my whole aspect of training. You know, like now I'm not trying to like go win these fights. I'm not sparring to like, like have a war with Sergio. I'm like, yo, I, if I do this and this and this, it exposes this. And like, them are the games I'm playing. So, um, I'm in a whole different world, man, like where I'm, where I'm training at now. So now I just got to get this to match in my performances. You know, Kyle Wood was the first step. Um, you know, but I think like I said, I'm fighting tough guys. You know, I'm fighting, I'm fighting the guys that are the, the best in the world. And, you know, if you have one flaw or one mistake, it, you, 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 you lose. And that's where I've been. I, I get a win, I get a loss. I get a win, I get a loss. So I'm a little frustrated in that aspect of it. Um, do I feel like I got everything out of MMA? I've been blessed, man. Like, mixed martial arts has given me such a great life. Um, yeah. Seeing Sergio being able to doing now he's the main event you know doing you know making good money this is his house you know where i'm at his house now so yeah, um, that's it's, awesome. it's cool to see um what what i what, what he's been able to do with it so i'm definitely blessed man so i wouldn't say i wouldn't say i'm done yet but i, I definitely if, it, if everything everything stopped i'm blessed to see what i've what i've saw and what i've done yeah and you were gonna that's take crazy. the you were gonna yeah, fight if i remember correctly you were gonna fight habib on like one day's notice right yeah yeah um and they, they just want to play you know you know how ufc works man like they're trying to find uh you know, the guy would take it for the least amount of money or like what makes the most sense and yeah and i wasn't gonna budge i've been there forever so i'm like yo I, I, why why go risk that again you know i've been there before i'll get it yet if i if i need what i can and then you're fighting welterweight now how was that how, how was that transition to welterweight and and is that is it's i mean is that not too big for you you feel comfortable with that weight I think I'm trying to fight Anderson, man. That's the fight I want next. Anderson Silva. Anderson. Um, at 85. You're going to fight Silva, 85. That's, that's the fight. I, at 85, yeah. Damn. I just want to go to – I mean, he can't make 70. I don't think he can make nah, – he can get sure. all the way down there. But he said, like, what do, you, what, what do I want to see in this sport? Like, them are the fights I've thought about you know, coming up. Like, now that I'm close, like, I can make 85 into a comfortable 85. I'm training with 85ers at my gym right now. Um, you know, Gerald Nershard, Brandon Allen. I, got, I have some good 85ers that I'm, I'm getting to work with. And – uh you know, I, I know the UFC and, the, and everybody else, like, oh, Pence is too small, but I, I feel good right now at, at, at the higher weight classes. You know, I'm catching these guys. And I, I don't think it's so much about the physical aspect. I got the speed. I got the uh, the athleticism. And I, and I have the knowledge of what to do in these positions. You know, I don't have to go in there and, like, fight with this this strength that, that these 85ers have. If I could touch your chin, you know, I showed him the Wonderboat fight. You know, I yeah, of course. It was a great fight. Yeah, and you have that show style. I mean, I think a, a match with you and Anderson would be incredible just because of y'all's y'all's style, the the, the way y'all throw your strikes, and that can't be anything but entertaining. Yeah. So would it be safe to say then you're more chasing at this stage like big fights, like super fights versus grinding to get a belt? I mean, would that be a safe thing to say? Since yeah, I think, I think I will. I'll, I'll go back to a grind and like find my position and see where I want to go at, but I'm kind of like in this – like I said, man, I just found this like position of training where I'm so into the mental side of it. It just feels good to be thinking of that spot. Because like when I was a champ, I had no idea of, of the mental health and yeah. understanding, you know, how to be happy when you're training and not letting your life be dictated off a win or loss and, and like measuring social media and under, like yeah. understanding all that stuff. And once once I got hit to that game, man, I was like, bro, I, once I once I put that together with my skill set and everything that I, I know how to do. I'm just it's just gonna happen I'm just gonna stay grinding and, and keep keep dipping my, my feet in the water and once I once I get that right that right path I'm, I'm going all in that's awesome man and and Sergio what about you like what's your what's your deep calling for uh for the sport like what are you looking to pull out of the sport before you're satisfied and 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 what you've done in ending your career um, I feel like I need to get a, a belt, you know, just uh, just because I need one. You know, I want to be a champ of an organization, uh, Bellator, UFC, or you know, wherever I go. But um, I mean, as of right now, I mean, I, it's just uh, just making as much money as possible, fighting, fighting some good names, and uh, trying to just put on a show for everybody. You now, I had a career of uh, at the UFC. I did play it safe. You know, I was trying to win fights based off points, and 
I just feel like now I'm trying to time to break out of that and just you know show the world that I'm capable of uh, doing some some damage to these guys. So yeah, um, obviously, yeah, I mean, a lot a lot of goals left, but uh, I still got some time left. So we'll see, we'll see.